Thank you for joining us on Open Mic Fridays once again, and I'm here with a special guest. We had to send a limousine for Kelly Davenport because Thank she's so, so far away from the television <laughs> station, like I could throw the glass out the front door and hit the, uh, and the office of Kelly Davenport, a uh, real estate broker, obviously here in Jackson throughout Amador County. You can't miss your offices. They're on both ends of Main Street. You really Try have been. I see Jackson. your trucks all over and all your agents. You have quite a quite an operation. Welcome to uh, the show here this Friday. Thank you. Thanks for joining me. We, we do a little bit of personal type of introduction with each show. And I know you come from an old established Amador County family. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your background? Uh, and I've been in Amador County since I was around 10. My parents moved up here from San Jose, and my dad was supervisor up country for 14 years, I believe. That must have and got I, you engaged in a lot of the he activities. And, he and bought and sold interest. real estate for years, so um, that kind of, I think that's how uh, my three sisters and, and I have gotten into real estate. Um, and then I, ran, I had a daycare for 20 years, and got pretty involved in the community with the daycare and when my kids uh, graduated from high school I decided to change my career and, and go into real estate. Well, and I've been doing it, I don't even know, eight, nine years now. Yeah, we've done so, more than just gotten into real estate. Yeah. I mean, you're really managing a lot of, you know, really qualified agents. You have 11 mm -hmm. agents now? Or? We, yes, we have 11 agents. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. They have to, you know, as an, a real estate agent, I'm pretty familiar with real estate. You know, you really have to trust the broker and know that they, uh, you know, professionally can handle anything that you bring forward and, and that things are done, uh, you know, super efficiently and, mm -hmm. and professionally. And that's a, a big responsibility. To, it is. It's know. a lot of hours, but I, <laughs> I love it. And I have a really good crew of girls and we just got one boy <laughs> to be selling with us we needed to throw a man oh, in, a man in a the guy. mix well butter <laughs> it's not all girls over there anymore not all girls <laughs> that's good though it's uh, it's a great uh, it's an ambitious undertaking you know real estate in amador county i'm sure it's coming back but before we talk about real estate we'll we'll do that quite a bit and and uh, because i know things are changing just recently over the last few months things have been improving so we'll talk a little mm -hmm. bit about that but uh, let's talk about boys and girls first. I mean, you have grandchildren now? I mean, you look so young. I, I mean, do. how could you possibly be a grandparent? <laughs> Tell me about your family itself. I have a son. Uh, he's 27. And I have a daughter who's 24. 24, great And ages. a grandson that is, uh, he's going to be four on April 1st. They're just starting so. to be responsible for themselves yeah, at well, that yes. age, hopefully. They are, yeah, actually. They're, they're, that yeah. must be a perfect age. I'm waiting for mine to kind of get there. They're a little it bit behind fun. you. It is nice. Yeah. I, I like, I, we can still go skiing together and hang out and... That's the They're perfect. Big kids. Yeah, that's the perfect age. The uh, real estate market, I know, throughout the Bay Area, because I have properties down there. We've been watching it very closely. Mm -hmm. and I'm on Zillow, you know, mm -hmm. every other day. I'm kind of Zillowing or whatever. Uh, I don't know. You can't trust that <laughs> Zillow thing, can you? Is that really? Uh, it's the. It's not very accurate. Kind of a cookie I mean, cutter kind of, yeah, formula. Yeah, they're not. They they're just going from square footage and. Right, but the they just tell you the homes, prices. They don't know what the, the, house, the condition of the house or, or right. home or right. anything. So it takes somebody locally in the area mm -hmm. that really has a feel for, you know, all the variables. You want somebody to go into your home and be yeah. able to pull up. And there are know, a lot of variables when it comes to real estate, as you know. You right, know. especially I mean, up in this area. It's like every other car accident is different. I mean, every piece right. of real estate, it could be right next door and be completely different. And, right. And I know down in the city, they've got the subdivision, so it's easy to kind of pull up comps. But up here, all the houses are pretty unique and oh, yeah, different yeah. size lots and, and everything. Right. So. I know when I came to Amador County 10 years ago, it was probably a little longer a little earlier than that, but um, when I bought the property 10 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, I bought you know raw land, and I, I came up from the Bay Area. I knew absolutely nothing about you know wells and perk tests mm -hmm. and you know any of that sort of thing. And I walked right into the first real estate office I saw, which was upcountry, mm -hmm. and um, I won't mention any names. And, and uh, I didn't go with that realtor. I ended up with another realtor. I had no idea who that was. And, mm -hmm. and uh, I finally ended up buying a piece of land. Uh, but the realtor had no idea where the property line was, or the boundary. She thought it was one place. It turned mm -hmm. out to be another place. And it was really kind of scrambled. Well, there's so, yeah, upcountry. <laughs> oh, 
you know, you could have the survey, and Matt Toma had surveyed the land beautifully, but you'd have to have a GPS to know where you right. were actually standing. Right. So everybody thought, even the seller, everybody thought that the property line was one place, you know, 100 feet funny. that way, and even a couple hundred feet that way, and, you know, it was just all guesswork. And, and you really have to have a, a certain agent and mm -hmm. broker that, you know. You feel confident yeah, with. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. very important. So anything I do in the county, you okay. can count on me okay. knocking on your door over there. <laughs> I'll need your help. I'll help you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, there are different uh, aspects to coming from, like, Southern California. When you come to Northern California, mm -hmm. there are different things. Laws are different. Real estate mm -hmm. issues Every are different. Every county's got, yeah, different, you know, so laws you really need to educate people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I like the way that you've done your uh, information desk and all that information, uh, you know, all the, the attractions in the county. Well, there is so much for the, the, yeah, for the county. There's so much out in the county that people just don't know about, so it's great. We have a lot of people that stop in just for information. Like visitor centers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and then we'll send them down to the chamber and the JBCA office yeah, very also. Helpful. So. Well, you're a big volunteer with everybody. I attend all of these meetings, and you're like the first oh. person to put their hand up and volunteer, and I'm like, it's... <laughs> What is the matter with that Kelly Davenport? I try. <laughs> Doesn't I she try. have anything to do? <laughs> I haven't been able to do as much because it's been so busy. So yeah, but you do have to work. for but all I the do events love. and things. You're always, you know, you got the face painting table out there with the kids. And, yeah. You know, oh, we love all that Jackson doing all events that stuff and getting all involved. The it's fun. Yeah. Well, that makes a big difference. It's mm -hmm. nice to have somebody who's really engaged with, you know, Main Street and Jackson, and you know, mm -hmm. it's not just running a business, but you're part of the mm -hmm. part of the downtown community. community you know, mm -hmm. and you're helping with all that. Is a, it's a that's a big thing. I'm sure you're very popular for mm -hmm. all of that extra work well, that you do. It's a great place to live, and I love it. So yeah, I I'm a you know, it's my adopted home, and mm -hmm. uh, but I couldn't think of a better place to have raised my kids. Oh, my absolutely. daughter went through Pioneer Elementary. Mm -hmm. The importance of so Pioneer Elementary. I'm going to put a plug in for Pioneer <laughs> Elementary this week. We've had a lot of things going on with the school mm -hmm. the district, and and fortunately there aren't going to be any. You know, major changes. changes. They found out a way to take it for another year and kind of settle everything down and, and give a, another year's worth of time to exploring different options. You know, we just have too many facilities, mm -hmm. not enough kids, the population right. has changed. And with real estate, uh, that's a big impact too. I mean, you've had to survive some pretty hard times in the yeah, last few the years. Yeah, the last few years have been challenging, mm -hmm. but. Um, you know, things are, I think things are really turning around. Yeah, it seems so. The last few months have been crazy. Seems so. so. People are knocking down the doors to advertise on TSPN. I mean, <laughs> Butter is bringing in more new business than I think they've ever seen Thank it goodness in 25-year history of TSPN. Yeah. Thank goodness for Butter. She's coming out in a little bit. Thank, thank goodness for her. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a little Butter break where she comes out and we'll, we'll spin the wheel for a prize. That's a lot of fun. And, I'll, I'll let her drink out of my glass so you're not <laughs> Thank you. uh, sharing a glass. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the actual pieces of real estate. Um, we can show some photos and talk, talk about exact properties, specific properties, and kind of get a little overview because people always like to see, you know, what's going on. You know? But, yeah, and there's some great programs out there, too, for, for buyers. Uh, you know, first-time home buyer programs. And, right, right. And well, we have a few seconds, so we're going to go to break. Okay. And then we're going to come right back and talk with Kelly Davenport a little further. <laughs> You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.